All right, this is the second part of uh, Lesson 9.1, Session 2. This one focuses on substance models. In the last one, we looked at what elements were and how elements are like letters that go together to form substances. And substances around the world, around the universe, those are like words. Remember, you can take individual letters and form them together to make words. And we have millions of words or hundreds of thousands of words. The same thing can be said with all of our elements. They join together to make up all the different substances. But what, do, what makes them unique? Well, just like in a word, there's a combination of letters that go together to make that word. Well, there's a combination of these elements that go together to make the various substances. And if we would looked at those, we could see that the actual word for a substance is its chemical formula. And from that, you can see what letters or elements are in them. And we're going to focus a little bit on that today and some, do some extra practice. If we had some atom models, as this says, we could put them together to make models of particles of substances, i.e. molecules and ionic compounds. Simple ones like we saw before, like H2O, or a pair of oxygen atoms, or three oxygen atoms made up ozones. So once you have those chemical formulas and you know how many of each element there are in a substance, then you can turn those into visual representations of the chemical substances themselves. And we'll go through a few steps to kind of show you how this is done. So if we were to make a model of one of our particular substances, we would look at its chemical formula. And the formula would tell us how many of each of those atoms make up that substance. So let's take a simple one. If we look at, let's say, here's some examples of some particle models of, of different atoms. We're going to use um, a blue circle to represent the hydrogen atom. <clears throat> with the H in it. We're going to look at use an orange one to represent carbon with a C in it. Uh, the red one with an O in it stands for oxygen. The green one with a CL stands for chlorine. And the yellow one with NA stands for sodium. So if we were to make one of these particle models to show what that molecule, what that substance looks like, it, we would take its uh, chemical formula. So if we take water, that is H2O. That's the chemical formula for water. What would that look like as a representation? We would have two H's, so I'm making an H here, look at that, and another H here, and then in between it would be another one, that oxygen. <clears throat> so that becomes a representation of what a molecule of water would look like. Its chemical formula here, and then it's represent, model representation here. You could do other ones like NaCl, that would be for salt. You could do carbon dioxide, which is CO2, that's what you breathe out. You would need one carbon and two oxygens. And that's how we take and can visually see what the chemical formula is saying when we look at it. Next, what I want you to do is to download that Representing Substances Worksheets into Notability. Remember, it works best if you're in Safari to be able to do that. And give it the title of the same thing so that you know what it is, Representing Substances. And this will be the worksheet that you're going to be working on as you go through. So what we have is uh, two columns over here on the left. You see these right here, two columns on the left. One of them says the substance name name on its own, and then the formula. So we've got carbon, and its chemical formula is C. So what does that representation look like then for an atom of carbon? Well, if it's only one, like you see, we just make a circle, and we put a C in it. If I can draw a C. And that is your representation for that particular substance. Carbon is around us everywhere. It's in everything that is living. Um, many of those white substances you saw had a carbon in it. It's very common. So when you're looking at this, now the, the right two columns, we want to figure out, well, how many elements are there? How many different elements are in these substances? And then how many total atoms there are, which means how many circles? So the elements, again, remember the elements you're looking for is capital letters, letters. How many of those will tell you how many elements there are? And then this one, the number of atoms is number of circles. 
sorry, my stylus is not working very well. So the number of circles. So in this case, I go back and I look at my chemical formula. I have how many capital letters? One. And then how many circles do I have in my representation? That's my number of atoms. That's also one. So you'll do those for water, carbon dioxide, sodium chloride, oxygen two, and then sodium carbonate at the bottom. And what you want to do is some more instructions on the next page. This just shows you um, instructions for what you were to do. On that sheet, you see six familiar substances, and their chemical formulas are listed on this sheet in the first two columns. Your task is to use your coding dot atoms to make a representation of one particle of each substance. After you make your representation particles, fill in the fourth and fifth columns. Remember, the capital letters are the number of elements, and the atoms are the total number of circles that you put down. Once you're all done with all that, you're going to move it back into your science notebook section of notability. So do that. One of the things you, that you're going to run across of in some of your um, different uh, chemical formulas is things with parentheses. And what the parentheses does, there's a number back here you see on the back of this. That number applies to everything in the parentheses. So what you see here, let's go and work our way through it. So CA is our first one, calcium. There's one calcium atom. If it doesn't have a number with it, it is a just a single one on its own. Our next one, we would think as being an H, just on its own. But actually, this number back here applies to everything inside of it. So the 2 applies to the oxygen, O3s. It applies to the Cs also. And it also applies to the H's. So that's how we get two H atoms, is by H is 1, but there's two of them. Carbon atoms, the same thing. We have carbon, but we have two of them. And then finally, we get 6, is that this O3, there's two O3s, which makes a total of six atoms of oxygen. So what you would have, if you take this out, you would have... HCO3 and another HCO3. And those would then be able to um, put into our total numbers. And that's how you define how many atoms there are in each of this particular one. So a total would be 11, if I add it right. 8, 10, 11. 11 total atoms. All right, so, this, so that last sheet was figuring out how many, making a representation, making a model of different substances, carbon dioxide, salt, water, carbon, and some of those, and then figuring out how many elements and how many atoms there are. On this one, you need to find and download the analyzing substances. You're going to also, again, download that into Notability. You're going to give it that same title, Analyzing Substances in this case. And in this one, you're going to sh there will be a representation shown already. So the dot and the and and the circles will already be there for you. You need to come up with the formula and the numbers of each element for that atom. So if I have the representation of that H, let's do H again, and another H, and the O for oxygen. If that's my representation that I see, my formula is two H's, and I always want to put the number behind it, H2O. Any numbers you'll see will typically be behind them. That tells you that there's two H's and only one O. All right? So you'll be filling out that sheet, the analyzing substances sheet. Once that's done, you're going to upload that into Canvas as the assignment for this lesson. Here's that analyzing substances worksheet, which will be your um, assignments for this one. So basically what you're going to do is to take one of these, or take all of these, and come up with the formula or the substance name. Let's do the formula first and just see if we can figure that one out. So if I'm looking here, remember, I'm looking for how, how many different elements or how many of the same elements. So I have Cl, a Ca, and a Cl. So that's two elements. I have a CA element and a CL element. But how many circles do I have? I have three. Now, what does that look like in its formula? 
I'm going to put CA, if I can write it here, CL, and there are two of them. So that becomes the formula, CA, CL2. Two total, two different types of at, uh, elements, but three total elements. This one's the same way. I could look at how many oxygens, how many carbons, how many hydrogens and nitro or sodiums, and figure that one out. So that becomes your assignment. Uh, work that into your uh, notability. Remember, you can enlarge the page so that it, it will fit better than what I just showed you. You can put a text box in there if you want, any of those kinds of things, and then upload that into Canvas for this assignment. Thank you, everybody. There's one last part to lesson no, uh, investigation nine, lesson one, and that's coming up next.